In this video, we would be solving this question which says Central High School has 60,000 to spend on computers and other staff. So the budget equation is C plus 6 is equal to 60,000. Here C is the expenditure on computers and X is the expenditures on other things. CHS currently plans to spend 20,000 on computers. The State Education Commission wants to encourage computer literacy in the high school under its jurisdiction. The following plans have been proposed. Your plan A states this plan would give a grant of $10,000 to each high school in the state that the school could spend as it wished. Plan B is that this plan would give $10,000 a grant to any high school so as long as the school spent at least $10,000 more than it currently spends on computer. computers and uh, any high school can choose not to participate, in which case it does not receive the grant, but it does not have to increase the expenditure on computers. Your plan C is the matching grant for every dollar's worth of computers at a high school. That a high school orders, the state will give the school 50 cents. Plan D is that this plan is like plan C, except that the maximum amount of matching funds that any high school could get from the state would be limited to $10,000. So your first part says, Write an equation for Central High School budget plan if plan A is adopted. Use black, use black ink to draw the budget line for the Central High School if plan A is adopted. So now initially the budget line was C plus X is equal to 60,000. Your plan A says that this plan would give a grant of $10,000 to each high school in the state that the school could spend as it wished that. So, initially school had 60,000 with itself, but now with a grant of 10,000, and this 60,000 plus 10,000, which is 70,000, and be spent on either computers or other things according to the wish of school. That means this would be C plus X. So it would be expenditure on computers plus the expenditure on the staff is now 70,000. That means this is the new budget line if plan A is adopted by the central high school. Now let's draw this budget line. So on the x-axis you have thousands of dollars worth of computers and on the y-axis you have thousands of dollars worth of other things. x-axis that means this is C and this is X. Drawing this, this would give us this line, you, which you can easily draw by a basic geometry. It says, if plan B is adopted, entry of a central high school's budget set has two separate downward sloping line segments. One of these segments describes the case where CHS spends at least 30,000 on computers. This line segment runs from the point C, X of 70,000 comma 0 to the point C comma X which is equal to dash and we have to find this point. Now let's see what is the plan B. Your plan B says that this plan would give 10,000 grant to any high school so long as the school spent at least 10,000 more than it's currently spending on computers. Now any high school can choose not to participate in which case it does not receive the grant but it does not have to increase its expenditure on computers. Now see that the school is spending at least 30,000. That means initially the school was spending 20,000. It planned to spend 20,000. Now it is increasing its expenditure by at least 10,000. So the minimum is plus 10,000. So we have of at least 30,000. This means that the school is eligible for grant. They would be getting a grant of 10,000. So initially this was 60,000, the budget. Now it's 10,000. Yeah. And it can spend as it wants. So this is C plus X is equal to 70,000. Now, we know that the school is spending at least 30,000 on computers. So we have 30,000 on computers. Putting this value into this equation, we get that x is equal to 40,000. So the school now has left the amount of 40,000. But why I have to put the value of 30,000 only? Because the school is spending the minimum of 30,000. So the point will 
and this is the maximum scenario where the school is spending the entire amount on the computers that means the school is spending everything on computers and nothing on other stuff so this is the maximum at this scenario the school is getting a grant that means in order to get a grant the school has to has to spend the minimum of 30000 on computers leaving him with the other stuff as 40000 so your point now becomes 30000 comma 40000 Moving on to the next part, it says another light segment corresponds to the case where CHS spends less than thirty thousand on computers, and this line segments run from the point C X is equal to dash to the point C X is equal to zero comma sixty thousand. Use red ink to draw these two line segments. Okay, we will draw that later. Now see if the school is spending less than thirty thousand on computers. That means it is not getting any grant. I Because school was initially spending twenty thousand, and in order to get a grant, it has to spend at least ten thousand more. But now, there since the entire expenditure is thirty thousand, that means this condition is not being fulfilled. Why? Because they are not spending at least ten thirty thousand more. Won't be getting a grant, leaving them with the budget equation as c plus x is equal to sixty thousand. Now, the scenario runs from a point where they are not spending anything on computers. But everything on other stuff, and since the school is not pressurized to increase its expenditure, it continue to spend twenty thousand. But what happens at the barrier or at the breaking point, whether when the school is eligible for getting a grant or not? That comes a point when a school is spending thirty thousand. Then the school is spending only thirty thousand. That means they are not meeting the condition. Of the grant, as the grant wants at least of ten thousand. So this would be a scenario where the school is spending thirty thousand on computers, leaving with thirty thousand to spend on other stuff. So this scenario runs from the point thirty thousand to thirty thousand. The question also asks us to draw these two line segments using the red ink. So let's do that. This is the graph we have, where on the x-axis we have thousands. Of dollars worth of computers, and that would be your C, and this is your X, and this is your X. That is the thousand worth of dollars on other things. Your first line runs from the point of seventy thousand comma zero to thirty thousand comma forty thousand. So this is seventy thousand comma zero. This is thirty thousand comma forty thousand. Other point runs from the point of thirty thousand comma thirty thousand to zero comma sixty thousand, which is this point. So joining these and this, we would be able to get our two line segments. That was all for this video.